If you've been watching this channel, there's a good chance that lately you've been seeing my ads on YouTube and I've been getting some comments, some nasty comments about my ads, so I wanna address that in this video. What's up and welcome to another week of wins and fails where I share some of the struggles and, and pains of running your own business. And this week I want to talk about the haters, the people who are writing me nasty comments because they see my ads on YouTube. So lately I've been, I've been putting a lot of uh, ads on YouTube and they've been working really, really well for me, which means that people are clicking them, people are signing up. Obviously this is about my Webflow course. But alongside that, I've gotten some comments about people who are annoyed by the ads. They write me either comments here on this YouTube channel or they even write me emails about, ah, oh, your ads are so annoying. I can't see your face anymore. That's it. I'm pissed. I'm, you've ruined your brand. And so first of all, the context is this is about 10 people out of 10 tens of thousands who have seen this, but still just because I'm a person and obviously those tens of thousands that see and maybe like the ads or get value from them because they discover something that can help them, I only get the, to view kind of the negative side of this. And as a person, and I'm a one person operation who's running this, it seems like all the negativity is coming my way and it's like, oh my God, should I really stop this? And it, it really, it, it kind of hurts my feeling. And I, I want to address that because first of all, there's, there's kind of two sides to this. So the first one is getting feedback. Maybe my ads are not good enough and maybe I need to improve my ads. Just like everybody else, I don't really like most ads myself um, and I skip all the ads on YouTube, most of them. Kind of the, the only light ads that I find amusing or that I like currently at the moment are AJ and Smart ads. I don't know if that's because I know them and I know John and I like him that every time I see their ads, I'm pretty amused by them, but it's just how I feel. So I try to learn and I try to un understand from this feedback. Maybe I can do things better. Um, and I'm always trying to improve. Personally, I don't feel I can really do funny ads because it's, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like it's me. So I'm, I, and I don't want to be fake on ads just to try to be, I don't know, amusing to other people. So, but one thing is getting feedback and trying to uh, improve. But the other thing is just that I kind of feel like the situation is that people, just because people know me or they might have seen me on YouTube giving a lot of content away for free, they feel like they have access to me to try to tell me what to do in a way that I think they wouldn't uh, do for other brands. So for example, somebody wrote me like, ah, take down your ads. And I asked like, what other ads would you rather see? Like I'm seeing Wix ads all the time. Um, and I'm like, I never thought about writing Wix, like stop targeting me. I don't want to see your ads. Your ads are annoying because obviously they're a big brand. That's their business. That's how they make money. Uh, they put on ads. That's YouTube business model. So, I mean, I think it's a fair game, even, even if I don't enjoy and I always keep the ads. But I guess people, just because they know who I am and they can find my email online, they can write me these things. Um, and I think that even though, as I said in the beginning, it's tough, I think that it's really important for me to um, keep looking at the at the big picture, which is mo a lot of people are finding value in this, and they're it helps them take action on something that can generate big kind of positive impact on their life. And so, when I'm looking at the pros and cons, which is to annoy some people or transform the the careers and businesses of others, um, and actually generate you know, revenue also for my business so that I can sustain myself and keep bringing value for free. It seems like this is uh, the right way to do. So as I said, this is comprised of two things. I'm, I am trying to take this feedback as I'll try to create better ads. And by the way, if you have any ideas on how I can create more valuable, funny, entertaining ads for you, please leave them in the comments because I do want to know and I do want to improve. That being said, as somebody who runs your own business, and I think as anybody who's trying to put themselves out there in the world and create something, there's always going to be a rejection or a negativity from other people who don't want you to do this. And they'll try to tell you what to do. Like, you don't do that. You don't get to do that. Um, or you're annoying, like get the hell out of here. Um, and you just have to be strong and, and 
keep moving forward. But I'm sharing this with you because I want to be open about this. And I want to say like, you know, I am not yet like a, a gazillion people business that is kind of like nobody cares there. I'm a one person. So I, when I get those uh, negative comments, it's like, it, it feels, it sucks. It sucks to, to get this. Um, but I'll try to be strong because I feel like I'm in the process of right now of building something that I think can be big and can be very valuable for the international design community. I want to build an amazing design school, web design school. And I feel like if I get to do this, um, I think a lot of people can benefit. And if part of that, part of bringing in new people and, um, and creating business success is by using ads, then this is how you run a business. And this is something that has to be, um, done anyway, would love to hear your thoughts. would love to hear your feedback here in the comments. Um, even if the, the feedback is not positive, let me know. Um, and we'll try to create an awesome channel ads school together with you. Have an awesome day.